Let's take a quick look at the MIDI Step Designer plugin, which can be loaded as a MIDI insert or a MIDI send. The Step Designer is a monophonic sequencer that allows us to edit and create subsequences that can run inside of Cubase. We can set our number of steps here, and we can set a default rhythmic value. So I'm going to say 16th notes, and we can see our pitch indicated vertically. So to start entering in steps, I will just click with my mouse. And as we hit play, so we have that sequence and that's going to synchronize to the playback in Cubase. If I wanted to shift the sequence over to the right or shift the sequence, uh, this way to the left. And if we wanted to switch the octaves, we want to go an octave higher or an octave lower. So if at this point we say, okay, I wanted to adjust the velocity on particular notes and depending on the instrument, you could have some of those notes kind of come out more. And if I like this feel and I want to do a variation pattern, what we could do is I'm going to switch to a different pattern. We could have up to 200 patterns and I'm going to first, I'm going to copy this and let's come over here and paste. And let's say I want to reverse that particular sequence. So I want to go back, let's say to version one, I'm going to copy that. Let's go to pattern three and paste. And now I just wanted to add some additional notes. And sometimes you just get like really great results, just doing stuff completely randomly. So let's say we'll come here. So let's say I maybe want let's say I want some of the notes to be shorter or some to be longer. We could go to our gate control and then this will allow us to shorten particular notes. So if we wanted these notes to be shorter and gradually get longer, or I wanted them all, some just random ones to be shorter. So let's go ahead and copy this particular pattern and we wanted to now create an empty pattern and paste. So I will just add some additional notes here to kind of fill it out. But let's say I want some of these notes uh, to be longer rhythmically. So instead of them kind of firing off the notes at every step, what we could do is click here in the tie field and that will make this instead of two 16th notes at playback, an actual eighth note. And if I wanted a dotted eighth note, I could click here and put two clicks in the tied field. And let's say I want to do this pattern and we will come over paste, but instead of playing back 16th notes, I want this to play back eighth notes. We can also change the sound in different ways by controlling different MIDI CC messages. So I have my cutoff of my filter uh, controlled by a CC 74. So now I can just draw in MIDI CC data to change the sound. So let's go back to a different pattern. So say this pattern here.
And let's say I don't like the mechanical feel of the playback. So what I could do is just add a swing to the playback. So as we listen to it. And if I wanted to do yet a different pattern and have it be completely randomly generated. Now, if I wanted to transfer these patterns in, what we could do is on the track that the MIDI Step Designer plugin is on, and I will just open up the virtual keyboard, is we could switch these different patterns by hitting C1, C sharp one, D1, E flat one, etc. So we could switch between these patterns. So if we wanted to listen to this with drums, we'll come over here and just hit record. So, and as I just trigger my virtual keyboard or my MIDI controller, we can switch between our different sequences. Now, as we see this, it's just recording the trigger note that's then generating the sequence inside of the Step Designer plugin. But if I wanted the actual sequence that was created in the Step Designer plugin to be transferred to Cubase, we can come over and just say, click here on this little record the output just in the MIDI inserts. And now as we record the sequence itself is recorded. And as we look at the sequence data here, we can see that all of the internal sequences have been transferred directly to Cubase in real time. Now, one of the things that we could do a lot with this is, you know, people think immediately like synth bass and synth lead parts, but, you know, take a different approach to it sometimes and do stuff that's maybe a little different than you expect. So even if you wanted to just put on like a quick orchestral thing. <laughs> So as you can see, using the MIDI Step Designer plugin can really unleash your creativity in coming up with monophonic subsequences. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel.